Uniview has two brand new mobile applications, one for end users and one for professional installers. And today we are taking a deep dive into the installers application, Uniview Link Pro. Hi there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security and welcome to the future of Uniview's mobile applications. In the past, Uniview's suite of software tools has been branded after their Easy Cloud service. We've had Easy View, Easy Tools, Easy Station, but now Uniview is rebranding with a fresh unified identity centering around the power of their own brand, Uniview. Introducing these two new applications, Uniview Link and Uniview Link Pro. This video is going to focus on Uniview Link Pro, but let's go ahead and talk about the differences between these two apps so that you know which app is right for you. To find out, just answer this simple question, are you an end user or are you a professional installer? If you have your own Uniview system, either installed at your home or your business, you're gonna wanna use the Uniview Link application as this is the app designed for end users. If you are a security installer and you're going to be installing Uniview systems for multiple clients, then Uniview Link Pro is going to be your go-to application. So if you've been around the Uniview scene for a while, you know that EasyView is the go-to mobile application for remote management, remote viewing, push notifications, system configuration. Well, EasyView isn't going anywhere right away, so if you are a professional installer, we encourage you to go ahead and let your customers continue to use EasyView. However, Uniview is planning to release a ton of new products, a ton of new features over the coming months, and as they do so, the Easy EasyView application will slowly become more and more obsolete. EasyView will continue to support current equipment and past equipment, but it's not going to support any of the new features coming later this year and into next year. So if you are an end user or if you're an installer that works with end users, you will eventually need to switch from EasyView to Uniview Link, but that switch doesn't have to happen right away. You can think of the Uniview Link app as a bridge that connects a user to their surveillance system. Wherever they go, as long as they have internet access on their mobile device, they are connected to their security system, able to manage their properties and maintain peace of mind. Uniview Link Pro, on the other hand, like we've already mentioned, is built specifically for professional installers. It focuses on project management, advanced system setup beyond what you can do in the Uniview Link app, and efficient delivery of projects to your clients. The Uniview Link Pro app is not about quick remote access or push notifications. It's all about making your installation workflow as smooth and efficient as possible. In the same way that Uniview Link acts as a bridge between a user and their surveillance system, Uniview Link Pro acts as a bridge between the installer and all of their clients and projects. The EasyView application was really trying to do a lot at once. It was the application for push notifications and remote management. It was also the application that installers were using to manage remote access for their customers. I think it's a great move that Uniview has taken this concept of mobile management and split it up into two separate applications. Not only does this give you as an installer more control over your workflow, but it also gives your customers a much more streamlined and user-friendly application since there isn't as much bloat in the Uniview Link app. So if you're still watching this video and you're an end user looking to manage your own system, I am going to record a separate video that covers the Uniview Link app at a later date. When I do make that video, I will link it up here on the screen as well as in the description below. So be sure to check that out and see if it's there. If not, you can still check the description for links to the Apple Store and the Google Play Store where you can download this application for yourself. It's honestly pretty intuitive and user-friendly, so you should be able to figure it out pretty quickly. But now the rest of this video is going to focus specifically on the Uniview Link Pro application. So end users, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Subscribe, like. But now I am turning my attention to our professional installers out there. Okay, I think they're gone. Now let's take a closer look at this Uniview Link Pro application. Walk through the menus so you know exactly what to expect when you open this app for the first time. Here we have our two apps, Uniview Link and Uniview Link Pro. Uh, I'm using an iPhone, but again, this is available both for Android and iOS. Again, check those links in the description below to check out this app. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Uniview Link Pro and you'll see that I am already logged into our test account here at Nelly Security. If you're opening this app for the first time, it's gonna have you either log into an existing cloud account or if you're new to Uniview and you don't have a cloud account yet, you can go ahead and create one right from the app. 
But once you log into your cloud account, this is the first screen that you're going to see. And what we'll see here is our list of projects, as well as a few helpful icons across the top to get us started. Uh, now, first I wanna point out this project, the default project. If I click into it, you can see that we have uh, two cameras and one NVR. These are devices that were already connected to our cloud account before installing the Uniview Link Pro app. If you already have devices associated with your cloud account, it's going to show up in this default project here. Uh, depending on how long you've been installing Uniview, you might have quite a few devices in that default project, and it might take you a little bit to organize everything, but again, at least you don't have to completely start from scratch because all your devices are in there and ready to go. These icons at the top of the screen are just shortcuts to different tools that you might wanna use. For instance, if you've seen our video on the connect box, this is where you will connect to that this icon that says connect box, you click on it. Right now it's gonna say uh, we're not connected to the device's Wi-Fi, which uh, if you were connected to a connect box Wi-Fi network, then it would show up here. That connect box is just for quickly connecting to IP cameras on the go. It's uh, rechargeable so you can connect your IP cameras to it, connect your phone to the connect box Wi-Fi and view and manage those cameras from anywhere without having to have a network connection and without having to have a power connection. It's pretty cool. Check out that video and I'll leave that down in the description below as well. Another handy tool we have up here is batch configuration where uh, this is where you can come in and edit multiple cameras at once. You can edit the network of multiple cameras and change the IP addresses. You can change the video uh, configuration and you can even upgrade multiple cameras at once through the cloud upgrade. Super handy to do, especially if you have a location with a ton of different cameras. If you have 64 cameras out on site and you have to upgrade all of them, you don't have to go in, click one by one. Just do this batch configuration. You can set common video settings. You can upgrade your your cameras and get them all on a consistent IP address structure. Also from the home screen, we have quick access to our scanner, which uses our camera to scan a QR code. Uh, once you scan the QR code, it will add it directly to your cloud account. And we have a bell icon that lists our notifications here. So let's go ahead and create our first project so you can see what this looks like. I'm going to create a project uh, and you have three choices. You can add devices to a new project by connecting your phone to a Wi-Fi network and it will auto search on the LAN. You can select cameras or you can scan the QR code if you have all the cameras here next to you. A third option, and this is the one that we're gonna do right now, is you can add devices later and just create an empty project. That's what we're going to do just to uh, walk through this project creation. You can name it whatever naming structure makes sense to you in your business. We're just gonna call this Nelly's Security. You would probably name this after uh, a client. And then we have a scenario here just to, uh, to organize things a little bit better, especially if you have multiple types of clients. This is really helpful for at a glance, being able to see what kinds of clients you have in your portfolio. So if it's a school, an apartment building, a hospital, for this we're going to say it's an office. And we're going to create that project. Now we have a new project called Nelly Security and you can see that it's undelivered. This means I have not uh, finished this project and I have not delivered it to a client. Let's click into the project and see what we can do. Uh, right now we have no devices, so we can quickly add a device either by scanning a QR code, by auto searching our LAN, or we can import this from other projects, which again, if you have all of your devices in a single default project, this is how you would move those out of those projects and into new projects. And you can see right away, there's this really nice topology graph that shows you at a very quick glance if everything is acting the way it should. We can see we have two cameras and one NVR. All three of these devices are behaving normally because we have the green online graph. That's great to see. If we had a camera that wasn't working or if this NVR was offline, we would see a red line, making it really easy to identify problems, troubleshoot problems with the client without even having to make a truck roll. You might even be able to walk them through a solution just by looking at this graph and managing your client's systems from afar. If we swipe right, we can see that all devices are normal and we can click on all devices to see exactly what those devices are. We can click a device here to bring up a very quick live feed. Uh, I've clicked on my NVR and you can see we have all of these cameras connected to it. So let's click on a camera. And there we go, we have an instant live view of this camera. We can pinch to zoom, drag around as needed. If you wanna make sure that the camera's events are working properly, you can take a quick look at the uh, alarms from that camera. 
You can quickly adjust the image settings right here from your app. Uh, again, from anywhere in the world. So this can be on site, this can be from your office, making it super convenient to configure your client systems in real time before, during, or even after the installation process. Let's say that we are putting this together for our client Nelly Security. We got our NVR on there. We got our devices on here. We're ready to deliver this project. So let's come back to the home screen, back to our projects. And right now we have the, our, our only project is Nelly Security. The default project went away because uh, all of the cameras were filed away into their own project. So let's click these three dots and click Deliver Project. And what this is gonna do is allow us to send this entire project to our clients who are then going to be able to access this project from the Uniview Link app. We can either transfer the project or share the project. And this depends on how much control you want to have after the project is finished. If you transfer the project, it's going to take everything out of your cloud account and transfer it to your client's cloud account. So you won't be able to manage their devices anymore. You won't be able to upgrade from the cloud. You won't be able to troubleshoot or have access to that graph. That's great if you just do one-time jobs with clients and you're done with them. You can just transfer the project out and not have to mess with it again. However, if you have an ongoing relationship with your clients, if you like to maintain their cameras for them, offer troubleshooting and tech support, uh, you might want to choose share instead of transfer because that will allow you to keep all of their devices on your cloud account. It's going to keep their project on your device and all of their devices inside of that project. It's just going to share it with your client, allow them to view and manage the devices. It's not going to clear it out of your cloud account. So we're going to share this project uh, and you can select your devices. We'll select all of these and I'm going to share it. Uh, you can manage permissions here and I'm going to put the email address which is my email address, my personal email. And there we go. Now I'm going to open up Uniview link. We're going to log in with my personal email. And I do have some other devices added to my cloud account, but you can see that we now have Nelly's door, my device and my device. These top three devices are the devices that we just shared seconds ago from the Uniview link pro app. So there we go. We can swipe through here to our different cameras. This application is much more geared toward just live view and push notification management. So there's not a whole lot that you can do in Uniview Link. But again, this is the perfect application for your client and it works seamlessly with your Uniview Link Pro app. So you don't have to fiddle with multiple apps. Your clients don't have to mess with multiple apps and your clients don't need an app that does a lot more than they need it to. Uniview Link Pro, I love this app. I think it looks great. It's already been updated a couple of times since I started using it. Uh, I think actually this is probably one of the better apps that I've seen from Uniview and uh, I'm excited to see what it does for our customers. That my friends is Uniview Link Pro. Pro. I think this is a really cool application, but that said, I'm not the one installing Uniview equipment for multiple clients. So I really wanna hear from you installers. What do you think about this application? Is it something that you're gonna start using? Is this the type of tool that you could see completely changing your workflow? Or is it more of an application that can support what you're already doing? I'd love to hear your feedback. Let us know in the comments down below. You can also email us at customerservice at nellysecurity.com with any feedback or questions you might have. Before we go, while I have you here, if you are a professional security installer, my next question is, are you a registered Nelly's dealer? If so, we have another link down in the description that talks all about our dealer program, the benefits you get as a dealer and how to sign up. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Happy installing and I will see you in the next one.